All right, so welcome back to another episode of Can of Worms. This is Brian. I'm here tonight with everybody, Chris, Nick, and Cedric. Yo. Yo, yo. Hello. Yeah, we're all excited today. <laughs> um, we are going to be talking about Genshin Impact. It's, Im it's Impact, good God. It's Anniversary Reward Contest and the outrage that it is apparently sparking. Um, now, Cedric, you know a little bit more, or I should say a lot more, about the actual game than the three of us do. Um, what is it about these prizes that, that actually has people so upset? Uh, they're kind of trashed here. Uh, uh, they, they, they're more than kind of trashed here. Um, <laughs> well, I think the, the biggest problem is the fact that they want you to do something for it when it's an anniversary event. They want you to, you know, send in fan art and videos and photography and cosplays. And well, one of the guys said it best. I mean, it is basically free ideas for them, right? Yeah. But I think the bigger problem is just, again, the prizes. Uh, so the blessing of Welkin Moon Pass. Uh, if everyone could get that, or if they had just given that out to everyone, that actually be a really good prize because it's like basically it's a thirty day pass for five dollars where they give you about a wish and a half to two wishes from the last time I got it that I remember a day. Now, what is a wish? Well, what is that constituted within game? So it, it's a gotcha game. So they, they've got a, uh, you know, a lottery system where you use a currency to gamble on a box or banner is what they call them for uh, different um, people or weapons. Oh. So a wish is just that. A wish is one chance at that. And so I'll, I'm going to break down the wish system a little bit so you guys can understand the prizes and I promise it won't take long or get super <laughs> in-depth. So the Genshin Impact works off of a system called the uh, Mercy System. So it means that it recognizes that there's a uh, luck or chance um, in these random encounters and so it doesn't want to create a complete uh dependency on luck or chance for you to get things and and, and cause a huge gambling addiction so once you get to a certain amount of rolls um you will your next roll will be guaranteed the highest ranking uh item in uh, one of the highest ranking items in that pool oh. um so they go off of a star system one being the most common five being the rarest hardest thing to get and that goes for weapon and people okay so <clears throat> let me uh explain they have two mercy systems in play uh at 10 wishes, right? So uh, at 10 wishes, you are getting a guaranteed four star. Okay. Whether that be weapon or person, doesn't really matter. At 10 wishes, you are getting a guaranteed four star. You will 100% get a four star. At 90 wishes, wow. you will get a guaranteed five star. Now, there are banners, there are promo banners that go on all the time. In the promo banner specifically, at your first set of 90, you have a 50% chance of getting the star of that banner. So basically, let's say Nick is the star of that banner, and alongside him, we're like the, you know, Chris is a is a is a, a four star, you're you're a five star, and I'm a four star, right? <laughs> so there's a 50/50 shot that you know when you roll on this banner on your 90th roll, you're gonna get Nick. But if you don't get Nick the first time, your next 90 rolls, you are guaranteed Nick. Oh, and that's so, how that 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 system works for them. It's a weird okay, system. so each each wish in the game, uh, from what I've been reading, is 160 of those gems. Now, absolutely, how, how much okay. is that in monitor in in real money? Like how much? Uh, is I think I think 160 gems is about two dollars to four two to four dollars two two nine nine to four nine nine, I believe. Wow. Um. So they gave people a buck fifty in in game cash. Pretty pretty much because you you can also and you can also get primal gems in game, but the way to get that obviously it's very difficult. It's limited until other things happen. So they gave uh, people one wish in which you know depending on who you are that could be good, but for the most part it's not. It's trash, right? Because you can't get a guaranteed four star unless that one wish is going to be your tenth wish, right? And it's a guarantee, or that one wish is just so happens going to be your ninetieth wish, right? Uh, for guarantees here, right? So the one wish actually doesn't do shit for you. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It would have been nice if they gave you sixteen hundred primo gems. <laughs> I could understand giving you sixteen hundred. That's ten wishes, okay? Mm -hmm. You're guaranteed a four star. If you're close to the mercy, you're guaranteed a five star. That's a little bit better, right? More power, right. Yeah. But ninety wishes at let's ballpark two fifty. That's two hundred twenty-five dollars for a five star mm -hmm. here. For a five or, star or weapon? Ugh. 
Um, I mean, and see, wow. I don't know enough. I am in the wrong things. business. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, and, 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 and the thing about that is, so it has to, again, it has to be something that you want and you're still taking a gamble with it. It doesn't mean you're going to get that person. So that's, that's just 250 or a 50, 50 shot at the one that you want. Jesus. Right, and let's be real too. Like the gotcha games that I've seen, even though there are five stars out there, there are good five stars and there are shit tier five stars. So you have a chance of getting a crappy five star. I will say Genshin has done a good job that all of their five stars are pretty much viable. They're very good. Most of their five stars are very good. I think the most recent one that came out is is the worst one that's come out, and they got a lot of flack for it. But the rest before that are have all been that borderline broken. I, I, I say, I'll take that back. About two. Two were trash. Because mm-hmm. I had heard recent uh, releases, and I don't know, so correct me if I'm wrong, but one of them was almost game-breaking um, in recent uh, yeah, the, releases. The most recent five-star has just been utterly trash. Oh, wow. Really? It, the, the most recent one that's come out. And that's sad because she's actually a part, uh, integral part of the story. And the story is great. I will say the story in Genshin Impact is very good. Oh, and they make you want the characters because they're all a part of the story. Whether they're good, bad. You, know, you can play them in your party. Whether they're evil, not evil. They were, you know led astray whatever the case is like the, they can still be in your party so she looks really good uh the story that surrounds around uh that surrounds her seems really good um but apparently she is just hot garbage oh that sucks she's supposed to be like the the main female character right for the story she's not the main female character but um and I and I I almost went back to play the story to find out who she was and how she played in the grand scheme of things. All I know is that she pulls a sword out of her tits, and I know that's wrong, but it's the truth. See, and I was wow. gonna say, is she at least waifu material? But that answers she, that. She she's she's you know they do a good job with the waifu material for sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that. Excellent. excellent. Yeah, that's I mean, these, really these matters. Are just trash. <laughs> I mean, it it is. I mean, when you think about it, it's. It, I guess we kind of forget that Genshin Impact is based. At least a lot of its systems are based off of the, um, well, the massively commercially successful um, sort of gotcha games with the you know five star hero ratings, and you have so many um, rules to get a new person, and they always have like, anytime I've played one of those games and I'm struggling to think of a name of anyone in particular, you know when you log in, there's always a litter of screens mm-hmm. that have like the newest. Oh yeah. Demo. Like three minutes of skipping through banner ads and right. like yeah, just to get to the game. It, it's um, the first game that like feels like it's a it it is a real game with gotcha aspects to it. It's how it feels. It's that's like how it hybrid. feels. It's it's a it's a game. You you it tricks you, not tricks you into thinking. Because I I do actually like Genshin Impact. So I don't want to be super negative against it, but um, I'm just I'm gonna call it like like it is. It does it tricks you into. <laughs> feeling that it's a real game and it does it's got really real game mechanics and it's a solid beautiful looking game it's not like other gotchas where it's very simplistic in nature it is gorgeous, um yeah. but then that's how they they keep you in and, i mean genshin's even though people are upset about this genshin's not losing any steam genshin's been out for a year and it still has twenty three thousand concurrent viewers plus on Oh, wow. Twitch at viewers. any given time, and at and, and at certain periods of time, will bump from to fifty to a hundred thousand. That's probably again, it's got to be the most streamed in popularity gotcha game that I've seen. I know Fate Grand Order has been out for a really long time, and people just can't get away from that. But in terms of popularity and like the masses, Fate Grand Order is like one of those games where like if you find out like you know somebody's playing it, they're a sh- they're really a shame that they that you found out they're playing it. Um, but Genshin's not like that. Genshin is like one of the first like gotcha games that a ton of people play daily. That's yeah. fucking weird. You know, the thing about this contest, <clears throat> and I can see why people are upset, you know, the fact that only 10% of the raffle contestants are going to win basically that Blessing of the Welkin Moon Pass. Um, and I guess 90% are just going to get, you know, the basic crap. Um I don't know yeah, a hundred thousand Mora is like the golden game, and that's not hard to farm out. Like and being at max Mora is fucking easy to do. What it's really a slap in the face is what it is because it, it, it's it's a big slap in the face. Like I, said, I think out of all of that, minus the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which again, yeah, what the fuck, um, <laughs> weird weird prize to give out. Like, take it. 
I, I I take it too, but I think you know overall if they get if they did away with that prize and they just dumped more into hey you know we're really gonna show love to some of those free to play players and even if you're not free to play that's fine you're gonna get some love you go every day for a week that you log in um we're gonna give you two wishes every day for a week that's 14 wishes at the end of the day you know uh that's a guaranteed four star and who knows maybe you get lucky and you get a five star right and i mean each chance are Okay, I just looked this up, but every chance is like a what 0.6% chance to pull a five star. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what the players actually want. They don't want an iPhone. They're probably already on an iPhone. You know, like, let's be real. <laughs> it's true. They who, want who more chances in game. And I, I can guarantee right. you, like, it's Genshin players. They want more They want more wishes. Absolutely. They, they were like, we'll give you, uh, we'll give everyone whatever it costs and, like, you know, or not everyone. We'll give one lucky winner, uh, the amount of primo gems at iPhone 13 costs, they would gladly take that over the iPhone 13. So if you're saying, you know, it's eight hundred dollars, we're gonna give you eight hundred dollars worth of witches. Oh my God, you wouldn't hurt you for the for the the the, the number one contestant for that uh that that uh, contest. I, I think people would be all right with that. And then the blessings of Welcome Moon is it, it's not it, that's honestly that's also nice too. I feel like every player honestly should get a free one of those for the amount of money probably that everyone has spent. I mean it's it's <clears throat> it's not like it's a um, a total non-sale. I mean it's a write-off for your your first anniversary. You're massively successful as a game. I don't understand why they wouldn't um, kind of lean into it more. It, it seems like because I know that they're their actual one year anniversary right that's not until <clears throat> what this tuesday so maybe they'll you know m maybe even at a backlash they'll kind of respond and, and change up what they're doing but it, from what i was reading like you know the twitter replies and just not just those but the other comments from people who actually play uh you know the game a lot it, it seems like have they done this more than once the whole idea of send us all of your hard work uh, oh, also sign over all the commercial rights. Um, They've done something this. similar before, for sure. Um, I just don't think it was as uh, upsetting to the community as this one is. And it, so, yeah, they've done it before where they've taken some of this stuff and, and have run with it. And it's been free, you know, free ideas for them. Yeah. Um, we're basically, you know. And well, and just... art costs a lot of money. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's brilliant on their part. I'm not going to fault oh, them. 100%. It. Yeah. But, um at the same time, I feel like maybe, you know, there's there's not a whole lot here for for most people. I think it's it's just one of those things. It's another sort of, I guess, misstep between. I don't know if it's really the de the developer or the publisher so much, and the community. Um, and I know that the and community. So is they, more. they they kind of screwed up because they're going to be giving out. They are going to be giving out a free, or they either they have started already, or they're going to be giving out a free five star. That's a crossover with Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, what oh, they should have the just did. Um, mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yep, she's going to be a character called Alloy in the game, and it's a direct crossover. Um, Which phenomenal game, by the way. If nobody has, if you have a PS4 and you haven't played Horizon Zero Dawn yet, go and just rent it, buy it, whatever. Play that game. Rent it from where their nearest blockbuster. <laughs> right. Find yourself a red box, or I don't know, maybe 1999, something like that. Go back in time. Sell some rocks for a copy. I don't know something. <laughs> um, so big, big question, and I need to know everyone's opinion on this. And I kind of feel like I hear Nick welling up with rage right now. But um, so, how much are people allowed to really complain about this stuff that they put themselves through? Mm. Like. The, the the metaphor that I kind of think of when I I see this is you know someone saying man that paper shredder is in a really bad spot we should move it or get rid of it and then dropping a dollar in it. So here's the thing: a lot of a lot of uh, gotcha games really don't lend themselves to free to play players. I will say, while it's very difficult to be a free to play player in Genshin Impact, excuse me, it's not actually difficult to be a free to play player in Genshin Impact. It's difficult to get the team that you want. Right, right. And get you the back. Because they have given out a lot of free four stars that are not on par with five stars, but are a strong comp, and you can get through all the content in the game with those characters. They've held up their end of the bargain. This game, you can play with the stock characters and built in such a way that you'll be just fine if you never spend a dollar in the game. So 
it's more dishear so I say yes, the players can, especially if you are a free to play player. If you <laughs> if you pay for a lot of this, what did you expect? You've seen some of these practices already. You know, you know me Miholio at the end of the day, even though they do a lot of things for the community, they're still a gotcha company and right. they gotta get they they're gonna get the money. rocks. Exactly. Right. Um, but if you're a free to play player, absolutely be loud because I can guarantee you that there are probably a lot more free to play players than you think in this guy in, in, in Genshin Impact and they're Oh, yeah. They're sticking around because it's a really good anime-inspired game. <laughs> I mean, it really beautiful. good. It is gorgeous. It, it, it is one of the best-looking um, gacha games that is anime-inspired that plays well between PC and mobile platforms that I have ever seen. Well, here's the weird okay. thing. I hate Breath of Wild, but I loved the first hours of Genshin Impact. The point I decided not to play it because I was like, I'm going to sink money into this. And it's good. just different enough from Breath of the Wild that if it's you good. didn't like Breath of the Wild, you you could like this. Yeah, it's just different enough. Oh, it's not that Breath of the, the Wild was bad. I just wasn't impressed by it. Um, it. It wasn't your thing, and I get it. And I and I lied. I just looked it up. the The blessings of Welcome Moon is even worse. So, for mm. for five dollars, you get um about like a little over a half of a wish. Oh, like it's okay. ninety primo gems not 160 per day so you get 90 primo gems a day for 30 days and at the end of that 30 days you end up with 2700 primo gems okay. which basically uh you know yeah a lot of games um a lot of the gacha games started doing that that model where you get like a specific amount of stuff every day mm -hmm. um you know like a small amount because it keeps you coming back i mean it's don't get me wrong it's genius but it's uh ooh. um Certainly, it's great for a budget gamer, but it's still only sixteen wishes. Yeah, and I mean, it's, it's just designed to get you know your appetite whetted so that you come back and, yeah, you, and eventually spend. you get that first four star, and you're like, oh, it's this easy. Yeah. yeah, and then as soon as it slows down again, you're like, well, shit, what's my wallet look like? Oh, no, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you, I've never hit the pity for five stars in this game. <laughs> and I have about I, I have maybe about four or five five stars. I've never hit the ninety the, the ninety wishes. Yeah, I will like say that it's 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 high, but I'll say that the the likelihood of you getting a five star between the sixty and the eighty range uh -huh. is very high. Now and again, if you hit if you hit a five star at eighty, it's just ten wishes away from ninety. So I mean, I don't oh. know how good that is. But hitting a five star at seventy, even though it doesn't sound good, it's actually really <laughs> damn good. So here's the the math on that because I don't know. I feel like I'm just in a number crunching mood for some reason tonight. But um, so ninety wishes, if every wish was 0. 0.6 and let's say it collectively built you'd still be at 54 percent, which i feel you definitely should have gotten one way before 90 anyways um so now that's also assuming that it stays at, or it multiplies itself every time but uh yeah that would that would be kind of that would kind of piss me off i think i'm like 54 percent chance and you're just gonna throw a gimme yeah, and it and it <laughs> definitely does not multiply. So it's that point zero zero, you know, five oh, or six percent wow. every wish, oh, right? Until ew. you hit ninety. That's so terrible. every time. That's awful. And then it resets. Wow. And then it resets. Oh, oh man, it's gonna feel oh. like a motherfucker if you don't get the five star that you want. Before ninety, for sure. Right. Yeah, and then, and then even when you get it at ninety, it's like the other five star in the banner, because there's like there's a there's a ton of other five Son stars in that banner. Bitch. Yeah, so it's kind of like. Can you like, buy them yeah. directly? Fuck no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, oh, even worse, oh we make man. it easy for you. Yeah, Hell yeah. no. So Brian, have you heard of the concept of what they call whales in gotcha games? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, those are the people that have the exact team that they want. And they're the reason why we don't have, you know, the... And you know what? I'll give uh, certain developers a lot of, of credit for what they do. Like uh, the game that I'm really struggling to think of. It's on Steam. Uh, the Tenno, the Ninjas. Uh, Warframe. Warframe. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Nice. Warframe. Nice. You can buy anything directly if mm -hmm. you want. That game has. And you can also grind yes. it out, and that's why th that game is is probably its cash app's not looked at as bad because you can go, you can grind the relics, and you grind the pieces for primes, and you can trade for it, and you can actually get yourself a little economy going. Yeah. Um, this is definitely not coming from someone that spent three hundred and thirty hours plus in the game, um, doing those kind of things. Four definitely five, not. I think. Yeah. No, that's the Witcher. I mean, like one ninety though. I think on. Um on warframe i've spent way too much time playing that it's just so fun 
Um, Warframe, if you're listening, well done. <laughs> no, 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 actually. Do oh, yes, well done, but come, come here. Meet get me em. at camera two. <laughs> Meet me at fucking camera two. <laughs> Release rating in your game. Oh, yeah. Release yeah. rating in your game. Your fan base has been asking for it for years. Years, literally years at this point. You're losing your fan base because they're sick of running five to 10 to 12 hour marathons of the same wave shit. Mm-hmm. Do better. Love your game. <laughs> Love your game, but do better. Yep. We all know you can't. Uh, as for Genshin Impact, I don't think there's really a whole lot to say. I mean, it, it feels shitty, but it also feels like par for the course. Um, you know, it's I don't expect it's it. what you expect from this game, and if you don't, I don't know why you didn't. I'm <laughs> like, welcome to the world, because um, this is how these companies work. I mean, the, at the end of the day, you have to remember it is a business. So, um, you know, maybe they missed the mark here, but if their actual one year anniversary isn't until Tuesday, that gives them time to sort of you know pull Rebound. something out of nowhere and be like, this is what we always had planned, but it was a surprise. It has Y'all react. Crazy. Y'all just jump to conclusions way too fast. We was always going to give you something. <laughs> so how about, and what are your thoughts on this? Because I just realized that Genshin Impact and uh, Warframe both are on that whole Twitch Prime special prizes, oh, downloadable man. skin stuff right now. Like, I haven't messed you know, that's that. basically saying you all have to get a subscription to this in order to get these prizes. Like, how do how do fans generally deal with that and, and games like gotcha games? Because I've never seen the the communities there. So I think that that's less of like how they deal with them in, in gotcha games and more of like how many people actually are subscribed to, to Amazon Prime. Yeah. I'll say, and a lot of people are because Amazon Prime, it does give a ton of perks, oh, not yeah. just like, you know, so shipping. Um, re Amazon uh, streaming of movies and and animes. So their their own their produced animes are animes that like before Mappa got big with the fact that they were animating um, you know Attack on Titan season four. Uh, Mappa had a bunch of animated animes on anime or on this wow a bunch <laughs> of animated animes on Amazon. Oof. That's a tongue twister. Um, that were solid and you got to watch those. I'm going to say for free, but obviously with your subscription to Amazon Prime. And then you get all these perks in your gaming world um, through the Amazon Prime as well. And then if you want to show your support to your favorite streamer, you get the Amazon uh, Prime uh, subscription. So it's me personally, I'm an Amazon Prime whore. I I have it, and I do take advantage of all of those perks. Hell yeah. um, Because I do think it it does give me a lot of things outside of Amazon's website and platform. And that's the kind of fucking subscription you want. I get free skins. They they may not be the best skins, sure, but I get free stuff to the games that I like that I would otherwise have to pay for. I get to watch, you know. If you're already there anyway, yeah, then it's just a bonus, you know. Um, Uh, I I don't mind it. I I like that subscription um, from Amazon. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I mean, don't get me wrong. I take advantage of it, too, because I had Amazon Prime before Twitch was a thing. But I mean more like, so I'm looking and I see one of the little contests is, is making the art, you know, and people are complaining, well, I can't draw and I can't do anything and I'm not creative. So how is that fair to me? I can kind of respect that, but if you're willing to put into work, I feel like you deserve a little bit more reward. But those are the ones that I'm kind of wondering, like, well, I can't afford Amazon Prime or Twitch Prime or whatever and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, how I, my biggest problem, just, you know, where do you draw the line on complaining about something that you do? There. Yourself, you know? right there. Be, be, right. Yeah, right there. Because I think it's it's kind of one of those things you're never going to be able to appease everyone. And, and, oh, and yeah. it does truly suck if you can't afford those things, right? I'm not trying to say, well, but, but at the same time, mm-hmm. you're not going to get everything for free if that's your thought pattern. And it shouldn't be free because people worked hard on this shit. And right. Oh, just, I agree with that 100%. Yeah. And, and if you can't draw, that's that's okay. You don't have to have that skill, but it's a contest for drawing. We Stick don't have to include you. Yeah, right. like try you your have best to give or, you anything. <laughs> you know, maybe wait for a contest that you're good at. But yeah, it's it doesn't have to. I mean, it sounds contradictory, but when, when it comes to stuff like that, it's not all inclusive. No. Right. I think they probably that was probably their biggest <clears throat> misstep is that the contest itself is for their one year anniversary, which you want it to be inclusive of your entire community. And if anything, draw yes. in new subscribers. And they yes. chose a contest that they've already sort of done before. 
and the prizes are actually identical, I guess, to an earlier holiday event. It kind of feels like a copy paste in some respects. They uh, pigeonholed what should have been a celebration for mm-hmm. all of their uh, exactly you know supporters. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they there shouldn't have been a, a contest like this. You know, if that's what they want to do, then, you know, they're a grown company. They can do whatever they want, but uh, <laughs> they shouldn't have done that. No. Well, you know, we'll see. I think there's also a lot of talk about how uh, the game is a bit <clears throat> in limbo until October when the 2.2 update releases. I guess that's supposed to be a very big update for the game. Um, and they expect a lot of, of not the in-game events you would expect right now, but they expect it to be almost a larger celebration in in some ways than the um, one-year event, which is kind of bizarre. Uh, well- and that's how this game goes. It, it works on an ebb and flow, which is why it's so even more impressing, impressive. I can't talk today. I'm sorry, y'all. It's <laughs> so even more funny. impressive that it holds the viewership that it does because it does operate on pretty decently, uh, pretty that's decently that's long, uh, yeah, lulls. Not longer than some other gotcha games, but definitely long. Oh, I apologize. <clears throat> it was way more than I thought. Um... Yeah, I mean, there, there really isn't a lot more to say about it, is there? No, I think we beat this horse dead. Yeah, it's dead as fuck. Um, so if you're still with us, I assume you're in bed and trying to fall asleep. So the comments are probably not going to come. But we do have good ASMR for that. We do. We do. Nick, uh, Nick's I mean, got just listen to Cedric's voice of the gods. Start yeah. a I'm, I'm going to go with Nick. That, that's fair, too. Yeah, <laughs> Nick, Nick is being Nick is quiet, man. the deep-voiced person in the group. But yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not wrong. Nick, you okay over there, man? Oh yeah, I just don't like Genshin Impact. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. That's why I, I he chose not I, to participate in this video. I just think the game's dog shit. So, mm. whoa! Yeah, oh, now, now, oh, see, you should have said that whoa. earlier because now we have Hi, time. Why we call ourselves out. Can of Worms? Yeah, I, I don't, uh, I don't think it's. I don't a very like their good practices, game. but I do think the game is fine. Yeah, I also refuse to play any gotcha. Oh. Including Overwatch and Genshin, so Overwatch, you can. Whoa, well, wait, wait a minute! You can't, you can't include Overwatch in that. You get every. What do you mean? You, get, you can you can get stuff. every character in that in that in that game by just playing it. Yeah, but it's all chance. Yeah, but it's like no, you, the, you, the, the skin, no, you, the, the, you can buy the no, the no, the skins are all chance. Like, oh, the it's skins just, and that's, sprays that's are all fine. Chance. I mean, not. yeah, I get that, but I mean, I can see how you, yeah, okay, it's. I, to, to me, that's that's different. That's, that's, cos- that's purely yeah, cosmetic. Exactly. You don't have to have that to actually do well in the game at all. That's purely cosmetic, and I'm a hundred percent okay with that because I, I really don't care what my character looks like. If I get it, I get it. But also, if I it's if it actually like impacts the gameplay, like you can't get past certain things without this kind of team comp, and the best way to go about getting that team comp is to purchase a character. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it, if it's just a skin or like you know color model, that's fine. Gotcha me all day. Even <laughs> if it's just cosmetic, I dislike it because it impacts my enjoyment. I don't like it, but I get it. Um, I think it it to me it falls in the range, at least depending on the title, of like an acceptable um, annoyance. Really, it's just I think kind of it's it's one of those things that you know developers had to put extra time into doing and. Uh, if they want to you know, charge a little extra for color palettes because they had to spend extra time doing it, maybe they had to work a ton of OT to get all those extra like skins and color palettes in, I'm all right with that. Yeah. I'm not all right with them going, I made a character for this game that's super strong. You got to pay extra for them. Yeah, yeah. no, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you work in raster or vector at all, um, then I think you understand just how much it takes to even create the models themselves. Forget about the animations, everything else that goes into it, the voice acting, which admittedly they don't pay voice actors a lot, especially um, anime style stuff, I guess would be the right way to put it. Um, that should be changing. They, get, soon, they yeah. get paid more than some, most. I mean, do they really? Because I've heard it was bad. Voice acting in general doesn't pay a lot. Okay. But I mean,. It all depends on the studio and the project and what your screen time is. So, um, Nick, if if this game didn't have the gotcha aspects, right? No, 
Okay. I wouldn't play it. I Fair think enough. the gameplay is awful. I like that we've known each other long enough that you knew the entire game. <laughs> well, I even it, yeah, it. It, it's a super pretty game. So when this game originally got revealed last year, uh-huh. uh, one of my friends was like, hey, check this out. It looks really cool. And I was like, oh, yeah, the art looks neat. What is it? And he's like, it's a gotcha. And I'm like, great, I'll never play it. <laughs> great. Fuck you for telling me. <laughs> Just give me that minute back. Um, all right, well... Look, that that we definitely have beat this horse. The skeleton is in bones and powder now. Um, but let us know if you're still here what you think about Gotcha Games, this in particular, or even just any others that maybe we forgot about that are notable. I'm sure there are a lot of them, um, and I think that's going to be it for us. We will we'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for sticking around with us. Take care. Good night. All right. <laughs> just cut that and then the hardest part